What's up guys? So you want to record stuff on your iPhone or iPad and also get your audio in it as well? Well, you've come to the right place because a new app on Cydia called Display Recorder from Ryan Petrich, it's actually only $4.99. You can find it other places as well, but I don't recommend that. Uh, I bought it myself, it's $4.99, it's a great app. We're gonna go over some features of it here today and show you a little bit about it. So there's lots of things about this uh, app that are great. We're gonna go ahead and back out here, we'll show you. The actual icon is up here right above my finger. But we'll go over here to settings and show you all the different things you can change on it. Okay, going down to on your left side, down to display recorder, you can see that there's lots of different options. Now, I've fiddled with a lot of these options and I've got the probably the best quality out of um, the videos that I would like to have. So first of all, I have this frame rate button. I can lock the frame rate or I can just keep it where if my uh, iPhone or iPad gets too heavily burdened with either a game or something that I'm trying to record, it'll slow the frame rate down to keep up and you won't have that, that jump in any of your videos. Also, rotation. Right now I have the rotation on current. It's locked at this view, but you can have it if you wanted to spin it both ways uh, throughout your video. You can do that as well. Now, this video format that I'm recording in is H264. It's an MOV file that has mic recording. Now, this works great on my Mac. Um, I don't have to convert it or anything, but if you have a PC, I would probably recommend the MPEG uh, AVI files. Those files typically work better with a PC, but um, I stick with the it's already in YouTube compression as well, the H.264 MOV file. Now going back to video quality, there is high, medium, and low. Now I stick with high because the compression rate is still at half a megabyte per second, so you're never going to accumulate that much. Also going down to OpenGL, um, I keep that open. That just lets me record anything I need. Grayscale, um, if you wanted to have like a little a different theme to it, you could turn on grayscale. It's going to turn it all black and white. Also going to scale, uh, you want to capture either the full screen or when it's captured, it'll shrink it to about half size. Now, when I'm recording, I also have two things on. I have tap size to small and tap size is on when I'm recording. You can also change it to always or hidden. So um, I like the tap size you can see right here. It shows you where my finger is since you can't actually see my finger. And then another cool feature is the web server. If you turn the web server on, when it starts recording, you'll give you an address that you can put on your PC. If your PC or Mac or any other device is connected to the same router, what happens is uh, it'll allow it to actually see exactly what it's recording at the moment. So it's pretty cool. And one of the um, greatest features of this is being able to use uh, Activate to uh, tell the iPad or iPhone what you want to use it to turn it on. Now I just turned mine on manually from the actual device, but you can go over here and if you wanted to hold down the sleep button, if you wanted to hold down sleep and, and you know, one of the volume buttons or tap the volume button three or times or something like that to start recording. That way if you ever wanted to record at, you know, at a, on the fly, you can do that right away. Now also, uh, I don't have mine uh, linked as right now, but what you can do is type in your YouTube account and it'll upload directly to YouTube. What happens is it comes up with a title, a description, as well as tags and what category it's in. And you can directly upload to YouTube. So it's a great feature, and if you guys like it, I would suggest trying to buy it. Um, you can also open the user guide, and it opens right in Safari. Tells you everything you need to know about the thing. Changing frame rates, using web interface, and it's a display recorder, and it's available for iOS 6.1. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.